It's a desk that looks like a car. It's the front of a R107. ABC exclusive, SEC. What was the ABC? <laughs> 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 Which yes, one was that yes, for? Yes, yes, the biggie car. Two bays gonna be patina slash satin auto detail. We're gonna be fly. We're gonna be bringing all the fly stuff in here. Got them right. Diagnose this car a little bit more. See why it, you can turn the key, pull the key out, and then the starter just keeps on going. Still cranking. What? What the fuck? If I can get this car done today, you fool! I don't hear the fuel pump running. There was a relay that had come undone when we were trying to get to the starter relay, so that might have been the fuel pump relay. That's what we're gonna be looking at next. This is a rare, rare find in the Netherlands. ABC exclusive, SEC. Look at that. And it has cams. You hear it? Mm -hmm. It has AMG exhaust. So what's happening? Any updates? Just waiting for Brad to get these hinges off and then we're gonna go, okay. we'll go get the uh, color match. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. And is that a big issue? To do not this part, but the one that shows when the door goes. For now I'm gonna remove two of the pistons. Because there's a lot of shit in this. You saw the pictures? Like the whole auto pan is like sludge, like the piston rods are fucking crusty, dude. What car was that? Uh, Koenig uh, project, 190E project. We're putting a Brabus engine in. It's a 3.6. We found it in the mess. It's the camera. We made it from the top of the top with a black light. And the black is black. And the black is black. Why is it like this? I'm talking about what you have to do. هيك بدي اياهم احمر بدي من جوا ابيض مع خطوط احمر so victor's pushing the gas pedal and there's just nothing happening. So we just want to see if all the cables are connected, if something's binding. There we go. Okay. All right, hold on one second. Throttle assembly is just really stuck. Okay. Yes. As soon as I move the throttle, it just falls. Like you could keep this this center shit going, but then you gotta double up these rows. Push these all the way back, stick them to the wall like I did the one two sixes, and then we can start doubling the layer. I just wanna have uh, space to pull them out. That's the thing, like there's so many cars coming that it's gonna get ridiculous. Nah, well this one I'm move it over to here, and then that blue one I'm gonna move it to here. on the side here. I'll have like the more special ones in the middle. The SECs, but then I have like the fucking Koenig special right here, you know? I say if we fold all the mirrors, we can make one more space. That's about it. Way more, bro. Think about it. No, True. look at all the big spaces. No, I see it, bro, but that, that, that only good. equals out to one full. No, bro, look how many there is. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. You gotta drive your V12. If you have a V12 at home, do not neglect it. It needs to be driven. You're a boss. You're a boss. Got it. Take it out for a spin, huh? We need to get that rebuilt. We 
because that was the original reason why you couldn't use the gas pedal. It's all connected as one like solid mechanical thing and the module is just frozen. The messages that Victor gets on Instagram are always the funniest stuff. Yeah, dude's like, can you send me a free 140 or 124 to Kazakhstan, please? How you doing? Good, good. And we're trying to install a window into this blue pin tail. Listed as a perfect daily, you know, available for immediate use. Yeah, like you don't have to do anything to it. And then they sold the car. There's no glass in the driver's door. No window crank assembly. It's totally empty. This book is for the 220B and the 220SB. And then there's a supplemental book for the 230S. And then if you are missing something, it's got all the part numbers that you might need. Here was working with me and we were going over it together. This is kind of on pause until he gets back. But I'm pretty sure it's just a bad starter solenoid. How's this body get mounted? Because there are external screws here, right? Which blows my mind. Like, yeah. That was the thing back in the day, just screw it in? Or? Yeah. On some of them are, the SECs, like the first gen SEC AMGs, you see that more than the second gen. Okay. But it's not uncommon. I'm just wondering what they did here. It might have been like some license plate or some sort of like diplomatic shit they put here at some <laughs> point. They need some between the glass that in or something, that. you know, we did fiber that in at some point. I mean, overall, this car looks to be in really good shape. It's a great car. Yeah. One of the oldest AMGs mm -hmm. <laughs> ever to exist. So it's pretty dope. I don't know if I'm going to get this to comp, like how far could it be from a concourse level car? Because it is such a unique vehicle. Mm -hmm. Like you need to do the dry ice cleaning. You need to probably like respray the entire underside, like do the, do the seal work on the underside. You need to really go through the interior. So I don't know if you'll ever get the concourse quality without going nuts, but it is such a rare car. I mean, it's one of like three known like this. Really? So yeah, I mean, it's an AMG tuned engine from like the 1970s. Like you can't find it. All the interiors are okay. They're not like fucked. None yeah. of the interiors are fucked. That's like a huge part of the battle. This one's got the carburetor kit for it. That one's got a fresh carburetor in it. Rebuilt? No. Or new, new, uh, new stuff? Okay. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Just don't tell Pierre that we're doing it. This video is top secret. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> don't tell don't Pierre that no, you know, that we're taking a pintail and ruining it. But Pierre, if you ever see this video, just know we're gonna do it proper. You know, we won't damage anything. And it can always be reversed. Yes. So it can be reversed back to original. Always can go back to stock. Yeah. <laughs> do the Benny S cluster here? This is the newest. That's a Benny edition. S. One. Benny S? Benny S cluster. Because look, this is a one of one cluster. But they showed me, it showed it to me in a, two, uh, in a 202. The guy had some Russian just like shoved it in there or whatever. What? Just to get it to work. It was like not even fitting right, you know? <laughs> just to show it working. And it was working. So, it's insane. We gotta find a car for it, but it's super cool. All right, I'm gonna take the puppy out of here. I'll see you guys later. All right, I'll see you later. I want you to be able to turn these cars on, see an issue, and instantly know what it is and just address it instantly. Feel me? Yeah. Did you see Don C's fucking Tesla Benz? The 124 Tesla? 124 Tesla. Whoever did Don C's car, I'm gonna get him to do something for me. I don't know what, but we'll do something. I'm just gonna set that in there for safekeeping. But we gotta order. At least 200, you know, battery quick disconnects. And rather than us going to use these cars one day and then find that 40 of them are dead, stone dead, we fully charged up every battery and now we're going through and disconnecting them so that when we do want to go drive the car, the battery is good. All right. Some of the most rare expenses in the world. S-E-C carrot. Pierre's gonna start coming in the next few days. I think it's dope you already reach out to him. I think that's great that you take that initiative and hit him up. And it's also you have no one to collaborate with here. You like buy your, like, if you were like in a deal, a place with like, even Pierre has Wesley there, you know, to bounce ideas off of, you know? So it's, I know it's kind of tough. It's a lot to carry on yourself right now, but I think the more people get collaborated with you, it's gonna be awesome. At least so, you have um, Lewis that you can work with. I got with Pierre, we found a company that had three new old stock 116 um, starter solenoids. Yeah. And then that was like it. No, nothing on eBay, you know, nothing anywhere else. So. Also, if you ever need parts, please let us know because we can always hit up the Russians or the Latvians. Is there a reason? Well, Latvia also, think of it, it's like one of the more free economies out there. Okay. So, like, Riga is a pretty vibrant city. So now in Latvia, they import cars from other parts of Eastern Europe mm -hmm. and then they can start doing work there on them. And so a lot of wealth is now coming to Latvia. It's really actually a great, great, great country. So. The going in uh, Saudi Arabia. 
Beautiful color. We believe it's an SGS, we're not sure yet. Looks like it has like a carrot interior and the dash is insane. Yeah. I've never seen this color on a, on a Pullman before. Is it slammed? Is it kitted? I think it's... Or just uh, collapsed? I think it just collapsed. Oh, just from not fuck. being driven. <laughs> <laughs> Three inch layer of dust on a Pullman. Yes. So this is what we do. We just, we just wake up to videos like this and then we make our picks. These are not collections that are available to the public. These are rare royal, royal collections. And so we do, we get these videos and we just study. We try to study and see what's this, what's that, because they're only going to send you so much. It has a Falcon shifter head. Yes, it does. And it also has a screen in the dash and double. I think that screen is a visual equalizer where it would be actually LED equalizer back then because it yes. wouldn't be video. Right, no, no, of course. That's yeah. sick. Right now I'm trying to do like a manual closing of the sunroof. That's perfect. <laughs> it's a great car, man. Yes. It's a Maybach. It's like better quality than you'd see in a, in a Gulfstream. Yeah. It's insane. Mm -hmm. This is the cars that are coming. Oh, God. Look at this shipment. You're going to puke. Mm -hmm. 500 SEC Gullwing SGS 1990. Mm -hmm. 190 Evo Snowbeck Edition, one of 10, 1989. 500 SEC Wide Body. 1986. What wide body is that? Um, that's ABC. No, that's probably ABC. Yeah. And then the Merce uh, SL 500. I don't know what that is. 89. Any oh, luck? The blue. The blue. All blue, oh my all God. blue car. That's, all, that's an early one. Early one. I thought it was that was, that's car. why it was a prototype. That was one they used at the car shows to try to sell for the, the rest of the editions. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. So it's actually it's actually a 500 SL, not an SL 500 from '89. Mm. There's a 1994 S600 mm -hmm. in Canada. Which yes. one is that yes, for? Yes, yes, the biggie car. So we have to contact the DMV in New York to see if you ever really own that car. We'll do freedom of information requests. Yes. The guy showed the car and then it's right there. He, they wanted to make an indie style race car using a German car. And so he's like, let me take the SEC and just make it look like an indie car. That's how you got the fucking Benny S. We're still trying to get the original cluster for it. I love how it's going to be like, no one knows who we are, but then we're sitting here watching it. Like evil, like, like, like evil geniuses. <laughs> Any luck, Bradley? If I loosen the clutch by backing off this 17mm nut, I can take a small wrench and manually turn this drive right here. And that is closing the sunroof. So I have learned something new today. So now a new piece of the puzzle. Here I am thinking, well, if the cable's good and the motor's good, it's got to be the gearing between the motor and the cable. Backwards or forwards, it only goes backwards. It's a bad switch. <laughs> mm. This is another Koenig we have coming. It's been sitting in the Middle East for a while. I'm just going to ship it with some other cars we got. Very there. Is this 300 kilograms? No. He created a desk? Yeah. It's a desk that looks like a car? This is a gift from uh, Ali Ahli, one of the biggest uh, AMG collectors in the Middle East. And it's a R107 handcrafted wood desk with actual Goodyear handcrafted <laughs> tires. Sick. That's crazy. That's what happens when you keep someone consistently you buy their entire car collection they're like here take yes. the take the table too they gave us a desk as a as a token of their appreciation oh. for buying all the cars really amazing guy great guy thank you